It's difficult to tell the gender of mountain goats. The mature male to the right is only slightly larger than the female to the left. Here the male is to the right and the female to the left. One good way to tell the gender of a mountain goat is to watch the posture during urination. The male bends slightly, but the female on the left squats completely while urinating. The horns of a mature male mountain goat are slightly thicker at the base than the horns of the female. But the horns of a mature female are just as long or longer than the horns of the male. Mountain goats have very short lower forelegs from what we call the knee down to the top of the foot. This keeps the goat's center of gravity low and along with powerful shoulder muscles allows the goat to pull itself up steep slopes or vertical rock. The distance between the front legs and the rear legs is also very short. This helps in two ways. This allows the mountain goat to turn around on very narrow ledges. And it allows goats to break themselves as they're descending very steep slopes. Watch as this mountain goat keeps from sliding down the steep slope by lowering its rear end. On even steeper slopes, goats will lay the rear leg and rump against the ground to gain traction and stability. Here it's early August and three females are in the last stage of shedding their winter coat. You can see the density of the permanent undercoat. The winter coat is made up of 20 centimeter long guard hairs that combined with the dense undercoat will keep the goat warm in minus 50 degrees Celsius temperatures and 80 kilometer per hour winds.